Hello there guys, welcome back to another tutorial of RPG Maker. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you how you can alter a sprite's character sprite's poses in a scene. So they could be, for example, walking and then they interact with an object and they, you know, crouch down, for example. Like, say, if they're opening a treasure chest, you can make them crouch down. Or they could be, like, you know, taking out their weapon or falling down, getting up, you know, all sorts of uh, poses you can do. So this is going to be part one, I'm going to show you just a couple of poses and then in part two I'll show you some more. So in this one, I'm going to first show you how to do the crouching down motion. So assuming you obviously have the available sprites for a character, so obviously you need to have a walking sprite for a character and you need, you need to have a separate sprite which is going to be of them crouching down. So we're going to have our character come in and crouch down here and interact. And this is the eventing, how it's going to look. So you have the first thing is going to be the set movement route, so this is your main one, so this can be found in the second page of the event command, so set move, movement route, and then in there, what you're going to do is, upon interaction, you're going to use the change image command, so change, make sure you've got the player selected first at the top, so it's going to be changing the players, or if you're doing it for an NPC character, then make sure it's the NPC event, you know, so it's going to be the right event. Then you use the change image and you can change them to whatever you know whatever other sprite you want and in here if you see I've selected the crouching down sprite and um, afterwards you can have whatever you can have like some text going on there or you can do a wait command and then don't forget at the end to revert back so remember to put it back after the event ends of course otherwise you'll be stuck in a crouched position the entire time and to put it back is just exactly the same thing that you've done to get her in a crouch pose but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put her in back in a normal walking pose so that's just the, the exact reverse of that now we're gonna have a look at how it looks in action so so this is a sprite of a ninja female character that I made so we got uh, here we're gonna approach and then interact and then we go and she crouches down and you can do the same if you see she gets up normally and she can you can do the same from the other side like from a different side if you've got the right sprite obviously of course here on the sprite her leg kind of clips with the event but um, you know you'd obviously use the right positioning of the sprite that's just a sprite thing so now let's uh, try something else now let's try to make her take out her weapon when she sees an enemy and what we're gonna do here is that this is how the event is going to look like and it might look complex but I will actually walk you through I mean it can be really simple but I like to make things look as good as possible so I add a whole lot of steps so it's again you go to set movement route and here we've got first of all you wanna if, say the event can be approached from any direction first of all you wanna make the player actually turn in the right direction so we've got her to turn right here because that's where the enemy will be otherwise if the player approaches say from the bottom they will be continuing staring at you know forwards and then we have just a wait command just waiting a few frames and then we play a sound effect of her taking out the weapon and just as the sound effect plays it changes to an image to a different image so I'll just walk you through here of how I've done it the sprite that she changes to, if you see, it might look a bit complex if you're not familiar with how the sprites work in RPG Maker. So basically, you have each sprite is divided into four rows, yeah? So the top row is usually how they when they turn down, then the second row is when they turn left, third row is when they turn right, and fourth row is when they turn up. So we can use that because we can use that to design any kind of sprite we want. So here, if you see, when she starts facing to the right, that will be the frame intermediary frame between her being still and her taking out her weapon and then the next frame she's we're gonna make her turn left and the actual sprite is not gonna turn left it's just you know it's it's what you trick the program into doing as if you turned your sprite left but she's actually just gonna go into the next frame where she fully has her weapons out so if you see here what I've done is I made her turn she starts a turn right and then after you, g you give like a small um, small window of like five frames it just it's enough to just show that the fr um, it moves from one frame to another and then you make her turn left so you, you can do this with any spray you can if, if we had another pose for example with her turn down you'd make her turn down for example for a different pose likewise the same way you make her put her weapons away you would make her turn right 
to go into that frame and then you'd do the change image and the change image would be actually her walking sprite again. So one of the things for making it as smooth as possible is that make sure that when you change into a different image you actually make your character you 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 position the pose such a way that it, it, it's seamless so that here if you see I actually placed the first frame of the new animation on the turn right because in her original sprite in the game she would be turned facing right while this is happening so you want her to transition into a new you know into a new sp sprite sheet whilst facing the same direction that makes it smooth and uh, just for the next if you see there's a, I put a stepping animation on that's obviously not compulsory that's only if you have a sprite which is actually um, like moving if I'll show you what what happens actually so if I we play this see we approach and then she takes out the weapons and if you see the sprite is actually wobbles because that's how I designed the sprite I made it so that she wobbles so you put the stepping animation on now what I was telling you earlier if we approach say from the bottom it's the same thing see she actually turned right because I made her turn right before she took out her weapons so that's a useful thing to do when you make any kind of you know sprite transitions in the scenes so yeah this these were just a couple of simple behaviors there will be a few more I'll be doing in the next part so I'll show you how to make the character fall down and get get back up again and also when, how to sit down like on a chair and I will also maybe I'll do a third part where I'll show you how to do some jumping like jumping over a gap and also climbing up so these kind of things so stay tuned for the next uh, few tutorials and see you guys later bye bye